In this video, we're going to talk about the so-called special triangles. And these are special triangles because there are certain angle and side relationships that appear again and again and again. And we can use them as shortcuts on certain problems um, where um, this is kind of like this, the trigonometry stand-in, but we can use them for shortcuts on certain problems uh, in order to make the math go much, much more quickly and also to, just to help us find answers in the first place. So let's talk about these special triangles. The first are sometimes known as the magic triangles. I think that's the name of them. I don't know. Maybe I made that up. But these are your standard right triangles that have uh, similar side lengths. So, or I mean not similar side lengths, but certain set side lengths. So for instance, the 3, 4, 5 right triangle. Of course, this could also be the 6, 8, 10, right? Any ratio, uh, any multiple of these sides would work. 9, 12, 15, and so on, right? Forever. So that's 3, 4, 5. You'll definitely see that on the SAT. You might also see the 5, 12, 13, and all its multiples. But these are pretty much it for the magic triangles. Now again, if you're given something like this, 3 and 5, you could automatically note, oh, okay, that's 4, because it's a 3, 4, 5. But if you forget, you can always just do the Pythagorean theorem. And that's the case for this as well. If you're given, you know, this is 5 and 12, and you forget what this is, you can just do the Pythagorean theorem, and you'll find that it's 13. So those are your magic triangles. Those are pretty important. But now what we're going to talk about is much more important. And they're so important that they actually provide you with these, um, with the with the, f the formulas, but the with the information in the actual reference table at the beginning of each section, and these are your 30, 60, 90, and 45, 45, 90 triangles. Let's start out with the 45, 45, 90. So let's take a triangle. Looks like this. It's got a 90 degree angle, and these are equal. Let's say. Well, if this is 90 degrees, what do each of these have to be? Well. The whole thing's got to be 180. So if this is 90, that means there's 90 left for these, which means each of these is 45. So here's your 45, 45 degree angle. And by the way, this usually comes from a square. That's not a square. It's like a rectangle. Usually comes from a square with a diagonal that cuts. So this would be your 45, 45, 90 right here. Usually comes from a square. But anyway. OK. Why is this important? Well, let's say we've got a 45, 45, 90 triangle here. This tells us certain relationships about the sides. So let's say we know that this is side length x. Well, this would have to be side length x because they're both 45 and they're equal angles, so these are going to be equal sides. Also, you can think this comes from a square with sides x. And this hypotenuse, or the diagonal of the square, is going to be x rat 2. So this is something that's in the beginning of the chat of the each section of the math SAT. I think they use s's, s, s, s rat 2. It's the same thing. Where does this come in handy? Well, I'll show you. Let's say we've got some triangle, and I tell you that the side is 3, and this is 45 degrees, and I want to know x. Well, you could figure out that this is 3, 2, because it's you know equal sides, and then you can do the Pythagorean theorem, sure. That's the thing. With these, you can always, not always, but often you can use the Pythagorean theorem. Not always, but often. Um, especially with the 30, 60, 90, you can't use it as much for reasons why we'll see in a second. But anyway, what is x? Well, that's just going to be 3, rat 2. I shouldn't use x, I should use maybe s. s will be 3 rat 2. How did I get that? Well, I knew that this is the side that's equal to x. This is equal to x. This is going to be x rat 2. So since x is 3, I just replace it with a 3, and I get 3 rat 2. Let's do another one. Let's say I told you this was 5 rat 2. What would the side be? Here's actually an example. Well, no, you could call both these x. You could do Pythagorean theorem, but we could also use the 45, 45, 90 triangle to say that, OK, if this is x stands for x rat 2, that means my x is 5, and there you go. This side would be 5, this side would be 5, and there you go. This is for a 45, 45, 90 triangle. Um, I'll come back to 45, 45, 90 triangles in a second to talk about something that may be a little confusing. Let me talk about the 30, 60, 90. This one's a little bit harder because it, you have to remember three things, or you have to actually consider three different angles, three different sides. So let's say we're given a triangle with the degree measures of 30 and 60. What are the relationships between the sides? Well, first things first, the si what you have to do is look for the sides across from certain angles. That's how you know which is which. So the side that's across from this 30 is labeled with an x. This is your side of length x. The hypotenuse is going to be double this. It's actually going to be 2x. So that's easy to remember. The hard one to remember is the side across from the 60 is x rat 3. And this comes from the beginning table. So where will we use this? Well, let's find out. Let me draw a triangle here. And let's call this 30. Let's call this 60. 
And let's say that I told you this is a length 4. What will we fill in for the rest of it? Now notice here, this is kind of what I was referencing before, we can't do the Pythagorean theorem because I only have one side. However, since I know this is a 30, 60, 90, I know the side relationships, I can fill in the rest of the information. All right, since this is x and this is 2x, that means this hypotenuse is going to have to be 8. If this is x rat 3, well, I'm just going to plug in 4 for my x, and that's going to get me 4 rat 3. Simple as pi, right? Let's do one more. Let's say this was 10. Let's say this was 30. Let's say this was 60. If the hypotenuse is 10, that means the side across from the 30, so this one, will be half of that, or 5, right? Because this is 2x and this is x. This side is going to be your x rat 3. x is 5, so this is just 5 rat 3. And that's pretty much what you need to know about the basics of what you need to know about the 45, 45, 90, and the 30, 60, 90. Now, one note about where sometimes it gets tricky. Let's say we've got a triangle. And it's a 30, 60, 90. And let's say they tell you that this is length 10. Uh, no. Let's say they tell you that this side right here, the side across from the 60, is length 10. Let's fill in the other sides. Well, again, we know that this is x rat 3. This is x. This is 2x. But here's the problem. The side across from the 60 is 10. It's not in a form of x rat 3. So how am I supposed to fill in the other sides, right? It seems like if this were 10 rat 3, if this side were 10 rat 3, the others would be pretty easy to fill in. This would be 10. This would be 20. But this is just 10, so what do we do? Well, let's go and think on this relationship here between the 30, 60, 90. How do I get, let's look at the x and the x rat 3. How do I get from x to x rat 3? Essentially what I'm doing to get from this side to this side is I'm multiplying my x by rat 3, right? Well, what do I do to go from the other direction? What do I do to go from my side across from the 60 to the side across from the 30? Well, I'm getting rid of the rat 3. And we do that essentially by dividing by rat 3. I'm reversing the operation. This way I multiply by rat 3. This way I divide by rat 3. So what does that mean here? Well, here I don't have 10 rat 3. If I did, this would be side, so that would be 10. And notice I would be doing that by dividing by rat 3 to get rid of the rat 3. So what do I do here? Well, I just divide by rat 3. So this side is going to be equal to 10 divided by rat 3, which we can simplify to 10 rat 3 over 3 by doing the by getting rid of this radical in the denominator. What about this hypotenuse then? Well, the hypotenuse would then just be double this x. So it would be 20 over rat 3 or 20 rat 3 over 3 if I simplified that, or I guess rationalized it. OK, good to know. Um, what's another example of this? Well, let's look at the 45, 45, 90. 45, 45, 90. And let's say I told you that this side was side 10. I want to know these. Again, remember that for the 45, 45, 90, this is x rat 2, and this is x, and this is x. Notice I have no rat 2 here. So what do I do? Well, the same thing, right? To go from x rat 2 to x, from the hypotenuse to one of the legs, I'm essentially dividing by rat 2. So that means each of these will be 10 over rat 2, which I can simplify, or rationalize, I should say. Multiply the top and bottom by rat 2 over rat 2, 10 rat 2 divided by 2, which is 5 rat 2. So each of these sides would then be 5 rat 2 uh, after I simplify. And that's the one little tricky thing. If it's not in a very convenient form, you have to mess around with it a bit to get the answer you need. The other thing to say is if you have a 30, 60, 90 triangle and they give you the two sides, if you don't feel comfortable using the 30, 60, 90 triangle, just go ahead and do the Pythagorean theorem. And that will get you the answer just as uh, using these Examples, well, the only thing is if you really learn these and know them well, you can do these problems so quickly and with uh, a great amount of accuracy.